Hey everyone, it's Lee with Mantis Mechanics and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to give you my five favorite kung fu movies of all time. Now, I had to use two basic criteria for this list. Uh, the first criteria was it had to actually display kung fu. So one of my favorite martial arts movies is The Karate Kid, uh, the original one with Danny LaRusso or Ralph Macchio. Love that movie. Think I watch it all the time as a kid, but it can't make the cut here because there's no kung fu in that movie. It's called The Karate Kid. Uh, now I could use that second Karate Kid movie with Jackie Chan, but I didn't make the cut, so don't worry. So the number two criteria is it has to actually be watchable, meaning you can't just fast forward to the fight scene. So some movies have really good fight scenes and you're like, oh man, I can just fast forward to them like, a prime example would be Bruce Lee's Game of Death, right? The fight scenes in that movie are unbelievable. Unfortunately, he didn't film the rest of the movie. He only filmed the fight scenes. So the rest of that movie is unwatchable. It's terrible. There is a point where this dude is looking in the mirror and they have a cardboard cutout of Bruce's face. It's terrible. So that movie can't make the cut either. So here we go. The five favorite Kung Fu movies, starting with number five. Okay, so number five is a movie starring Jim Wang Yu called Iron Man. Not the comic book and not the rap artist from Wu-Tang Clan. The reason why this is on me, this isn't actually my favorite Jimmy Wang Yu movie even, but the reason why this is my top five is because it's the movie that started it all for me. It was the very first Kung Fu movie that I watched. And remember watching and it's what got me interested in kung fu before this movie i wasn't practicing martial arts i was skateboarding and that sort of thing and then i watched this movie and i got hooked on the old shaw brother movies all these i would buy every kung fu movie i could watch every movie i could and this movie iron man is the movie that started it all and you should check out jimmy wang Yu movies um my favorite one of his would be crane versus tiger uh, it was featured in that movie Kung Pao a long time ago, which was a funny movie, but Tiger vs. Crane or White, White Crane vs. Tiger, I, I can't remember which one it is. That would be my favorite movie with him. And allegedly, that guy used to go out to bars and pick fights with people and win. He would, he would go out and actually practice his martial arts on multiple opponents and bars. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's something I read in a magazine a long time ago. So let's move on to number four. So number four features Jet Li. Now, Jet Li has a whole array of movies, and some of them have really good fight scenes. Some of them are, are easier to watch. Um, and my favorite Jet Li movie is Fearless. I like the fight scenes in that movie. They're, they're a little over the top in some parts. There's a part where he, a big wrestler grabs him and he's holding him up with his knee and elbow on the ground. A little bit of Hollywood Kung Fu or Hong Kong Kung Fu, if you would say. But I like this movie because it's watchable, has a good story, and also it has a bigger meaning in the aspect of martial arts. The guy goes from basically wanting to prove that his style is the best. He ends up killing someone over it. He goes into a deep depression because after he killed that person, someone came back for revenge and killed his wife and daughter. And so he evolves as a person. He goes out into the country and he comes back and he has a real true meaning of martial arts, what, what he believes martial arts is about. It's got a deeper meaning. And at the end of the uh, movie, he is able to fight a guy and he throws the same deadly blow, but he holds back. Uh, it is actually, this base movie was based on a true character. Obviously the movie is a little, is fictionalized. It's, you know, it's Hong Kong or Hollywood, so it's almost no truth to it. But the guy that he plays actually did live and he did challenge uh, foreign fighters and he did bring up the national pride in China. So he is a, chi a real Chinese hero. Uh, I like this movie a lot. I do recommend that you watch it if you haven't seen it. Let's move on to number three. Number three is... Master Killer or Enter the 36th Chamber of Shaolin. This is featuring Gordon Liu. Again, 
a ton of good Gordon Liu movies. The reason why I choose this one is because the training scenes. The training scenes in this movie are crazy. He basically goes to the Shaolin Temple because he wants revenge. That whole story. The story itself, you know, in the beginning, it can be a little bit rough to watch. But once you get to the training scenes, it is great. It is awesome. There, there's parts where he's training with a bow staff and there's blades. And if he uses the bow staff wrong, he gets cut with the blades. There's points where he has to run over uh, buckets of, or blogs on water, try to get through, and he keeps on getting wet. He even has to fight mechanical wooden wolves. It's a little weird, but I'm telling you, every time I watched this movie, I knew I was going to train really hard in Kung Fu. It really uh, pushes that training, the traditional training of, hey, you do it until you can do it, and you do it until you can't fail, and it's going to be hard. And that's really what Kung Fu is supposed to be. It's not the techniques itself. It's about getting that one technique and just getting really good at it and doing the conditioning. And that's kind of how I, I always did my Kung Fu. I really wanted to push hard, really wanted to train hard. Every time I watch this movie, I feel like training. That's why it comes in at number three. Let's move on to number two. So you can't have a best Kung Fu movies without Jackie Chan. Right, Jackie Chan is the man. His style of martial arts and acrobatics and stunts mixed with the humor is a perfect match. And again, he's got tons of good movies. It's so hard to pick your favorite Jackie Chan movie, but I'm gonna choose Drunken Master. And the reason why I choose Drunken Master is because it was his first movie that really cemented his style of Hey, he's a good martial artist. He does all these crazy flips and acrobatics and, and those sort of things. But also, it's a funny movie. It's a real funny movie. And he basically goes through this movie kind of a cocky guy until his dad gets seriously injured. And he gets trained by this old drunk beggar called Beggar So. And it's just a great movie. And I also, when I first started watching this movie, wasn't really practicing kung fu yet was like learning from videotapes and those sort of things because I couldn't find a kung fu school and if there had been a drunken style in my area I would probably have done drunken kung fu because I really at that time really liked the idea of the better alcohol and more alcohol you get the better you fight which is obviously not true but it makes for a good movie that's number two let's stand by for my number one favorite kung fu movie of all time. Coming in number one is my favorite kung fu movie, my favorite martial arts movie, and features my favorite movie star of all time, of course, Bruce Lee in Enter the Dragon. Now, as I said with, with Game of Death, some of his movies, they're not, they're kind of hard to watch, especially in today's context, but I can sit down even though it was made in the 70s, I can sit down and watch Enter the Dragon. Every time it comes on, I'm watching it. Every time Enter the Dragon comes on, I can watch it. I know the lines. I love repeating the lines from everybody, from John Saxon, from Jim Kelly, from Bruce Lee, of course. And this movie started off Jackie Chan's career. He's an extra in it. You can see him if you pause it. It's kind of hard to see him in that movie. It has Samuel Hung in it. it has Jim Kelly started his career. John Saxon, like I said, it was the first movie and only movie, unfortunately, that was Hollywood backed, a lot of money in production put into this movie, catapulted Bruce Lee into fandom, and it basically changed martial arts, right? If you haven't seen Enter the Dragon, you should turn off this video, get off of YouTube, and go watch Enter the Dragon right now. It is the most important martial arts film in history of martial arts, I believe. Without Enter the Dragon and Bruce Lee, there would probably be no UFC, no Ninja Turtles, no Karate Kid. You, there would probably be, martial arts would probably be totally different than it is right now because of this movie. And it's watchable, the fight scenes are good, uh, it's got tons of style, and that's why it comes in at number one, Enter the Dragon. So let me know what you think of my list. Do you agree with me? What are your top five Kung Fu movies? Let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time here on Mantis Mechanics.